And I've just come on to another unknown hidden gem here. This is the entrance pathway to the Hollymount Estate or wetlands and, and all the rest of it down by the coil. And it's a nature reserve and wetland. So you're going to see uh, a lot of wetland plants that you wouldn't get anywhere else. It's one of the, it's, it's, I have read up the notes about this and there's very, very little I could find online and I am told that this wetland down here by the coil has been relatively undisturbed since 1745. So it is, it is a, a, a pristine environment for, for the likes of tree creepers and, and, and all sorts of wildfowl and also um, butterflies and orchids and, and all sorts of nice things that you want to keep. But we're coming on to that now. The walk lasts for about an hour and most people don't know about it. This is the type of walk I like. <laughs> and here's where we are. And there's all sorts of warblers up in the trees and all sorts of birds which I can't identify. A bit of tree cutting, cutting going down, down here. A lot of trees have fallen in the various storms. I presume that there's a lot of larch and willow and birch in here. And there's wetland that I mentioned earlier. An awful lot of ivy in here as well. And an awful lot of holly. And I'm expecting Robin Hood and his merry men to, to jump out of the bushes at any moment. And there's a big house called Holly Mount at the end of this lane somewhere. And uh, Stuart's going to show me it. And this is possibly barley out here. And you know, I can imagine a, a, a lord, some lord and his, and his lady and all the rest of it tramping up or coming up here in their carriage. It's, it's a, a world apart here. Just come across these hexagonal type shape uh, columns here and we believe that this would be the gate post of the actual uh, Hollymount estate. Boy, I'd love to go back in time and see what, what, what way these things were all done. And there's an animal track, probably fox bodger. And uh, big roadies appearing here were possibly into the, into the garden area of the estate. All run down now, but in some in, in days gone by, this was some aberration. Sorry, low on area. Do do you think the big house was somewhere close here? All oh, right, and all oh, right. There, now if we can go back on it round, don't hit. Yet we can get back. Oh, oh yes, there's a wee there's a wee turn off. Left the big house behind. You can just make it out there. And there's plenty of bluebells, but this is wild garlic. Sure it tells me. I have no sense of smell, so I can't smell anything, which is unfortunate. It's one of the one of a growing list of things that I can't do. <laughs> oh dear. I'm just doing a pan round of the uh, the bluebell display here. This reminds me of Craigie Glen and Killing other wood. 
Kelly Miller would now would have a, a, an equally good display. But people aren't seeing this because it's a hidden gem. And there's all sorts of trees in here. Wetlandy type trees. And money was no option for big uh, owners of houses in those days. This, I'm coming back here and this, uh, this uh, roadway was, was obviously all bricked at one time. It's a brick surface. Maybe this was the servant's entrance. And with bluebells here going as far as the eye can see. And the, the, the roadway is, is, uh, is wild garlic. This is, this is an amazing place. And look at this for a, an area of wild garlic. I've never seen the likes of this before. And uh, that's a big oak, isn't it? No, no, no that's, so, that's a sycamore tree. That's a big sycamore, I'm stupid. Is it, it, uh, the branches are a bit oakish. Or not, the, you know, the, the, the actual yeah. tree. But then you look at the branches, that's, that's been up for, for a few years. Fantastic tree. I never saw a display of garlic like it. Oh. And the smell of something else. And of course somebody's walked through it, which makes it even more fun. Oh fun. yes, I. So if you danced about and it, it, it would, you, it would release the spores or yeah, whatever? Yeah, you release the smell of it. Yes. And we've come out of the forest behind us, although there's forest over to the right, that's along the coil, and that's down Patrick, and there's down Patrick Cathedral with the spar. And this is the coil floodplain, and that's what we have come out of. And this is just a wonderful pastoral scene. There's a load of pigeons just away past above us. And we're just remarking on, on the, the meandering nature of the coil here. On either side the river lie long fields of barley and of rye. Lady of Shalotte. 